What up everybody? Back again here with our third grade mastery check. So let's get started. So what we're going to be doing with this mastery check is we're going to be giving you three questions, starting with the easiest and then working your way up to what we feel is the most challenging. They're all going to be third grade geometry questions. And the point of doing this is to self check to see what have you mastered and what do you need to work on. The quote I want you to remember is it's okay to fail as long as you learn from it. If you're doing these questions and you don't know and you fail, that's okay, but only if you're putting the effort to learn from it. Go back, rewatch the video, okay? Look at your notes. Look at how we solved it to see where your mistake was. If you get them all right, awesome. That's great too, all right? That's what we want. Hopefully you've done all the lessons up to this point. So let's shape up and see what question one is. Here we have question one. I wanna stop and remind you that if you don't have the paper copy of this, we have the link in the description to the video. So you can either open it up and print it out or open it up and answer it on your computer if you would like. If you don't have access to either one of those options, that's okay. You can just get a piece of paper, pause the video, solve the question, and then push play to check your mastery. So the first question says, identify these quadrilaterals. So what we want to do is we want to use the attributes that we know for each quadrilateral to help us name it. I see right here that I have a quadrilateral with two pairs of sides that will never meet, four square corners, and all the sides are congruent. So this is a square. For my next quadrilateral, I see I have four sides. I see two pairs of sides that will never meet, and I see four square corners, but I don't see four congruent sides, which means this has to be a rectangle. Right here, I see a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of sides that will never meet if they continue to go, and I know anytime I see a quadrilateral with exactly one pair, this has to be a trapezoid. And then right here, I see a quadrilateral. I see two pairs of sides that will never meet if they continue to go on forever. I don't see any square corners and not all the sides are congruent, which means this has to be a parallelogram. The bonus point you didn't know that you could earn is by telling me which of the quadrilaterals from our lessons is missing, and that would be the rhombus. The rhombus is the quadrilateral that we talked about during our lessons that was not here in these quadrilaterals. If you got that one right, awesome. Let's move on to number two. So here for number two, we have a true or false question, but more than that, we have to explain why you chose your answer. So whatever you pick, you have to be able to write out your explanation. So it says true or false, the figure below is a trapezoid. So the first thing I want you to think about is what are the attributes of a trapezoid? Because if you look at this first, you're going to think, nope, not a trapezoid because it's not in that trapezoid shape that I normally think about, right? It doesn't look like, that's a bad drawing, but it doesn't look like that. In fact, this is a trapezoid. This is a true statement, all right? And the reason is our attributes to be a trapezoid has to be a quadrilateral, one, two, three, four. So it is a quadrilateral, has four sides, okay? And it has to have exactly one pair of sides that will never meet. So when I look at these two attributes that trapezoid has to have, I see obviously we already talked about four sides. And then right here, I have two lines that will never meet no matter how far they go. But then right here, these opposite sides will meet because if I continue these ones, eventually they will meet. So there's exactly one pair of sides that will never meet, which means this is in fact a trapezoid. So what I would say to explain why I chose true, this is a trapezoid because it has the attributes of a trapezoid. And this is actually called a right trapezoid. You don't need to know this shape right now, but that's all right, you'll learn about it later in your math life. It's a right trapezoid because it has a square corner. Matter of fact, it actually has two square corners, okay? A normal trapezoid that we think about does not have any square corners, okay? That's why this is called a right trapezoid. Let's take a look at the most challenging question, number three. Number three says, fill out the Venn diagram below to compare a rectangle and a trapezoid using the attributes we discussed in our lesson. So we're looking for what are the similarities and what are the differences. If you are a thinking maps person, you could use a double bubble and get the same type of thought process. So hopefully the first thing you wrote that they had in common is that they both have four sides, okay? They're both quadrilaterals. Really, that's about it because a rectangle has two pairs of sides that will never meet and a trapezoid has one pair of sides that will never meet. A rectangle also has four square corners and a trapezoid doesn't have four square corners. They are, 
however, both quadrilaterals because they both have four sides. Hopefully this mastery check made you think a little bit. Okay, maybe you failed and that's awesome. If you learned from it, you can go back and rewatch the videos if you need a little bit of extra help. If you nailed it 100%, awesome, great job. Continue watching Instructor Beats because we love to have you watch it. Thank you so much for spending your time with us today. We really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Instructor Beats, out.